I have mentioned before my involvement in an inner faith group, and I believe I had previously mentioned the fact that we do a celebration each December to commemorate the establishment of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights that was drafted and approved by the United Nations back in 1948, just subsequent to World War II. In fact, I believe I've recited this, and if I can find the link to that particular video, I'll go ahead and put it in the description of this video. But what I want to recite in this particular video is another aspect of what we recite in our service commemorating those universal human rights, and it's called Thanksgiving for Human Rights. It has several paragraphs, I think like 17 in all, and the reciter indicates the first part, namely the paragraph, and then the congregation or audience basically basically indicates the response to the paragraph, to the content in that paragraph. So the first paragraph goes, We are human beings. Whatever our beliefs, whatever our gender or politics, whatever our faith or race or nation, we are human beings. This we have in common. Let us give thanks together. We give thanks for all who, through the centuries, have strived for human freedom and human dignity. And then the congregation says, We give thanks. We give thanks for those who named and pioneered the rights of conscience and self-determination. We give thanks. For those who asserted the freedom of mind and intellect, who challenged ignorance and strove to bring education to everyone. We give thanks. For those who championed universal health care, who opposed exploitation in the workplace. We give thanks. For those who struggled suffered and died to win us democracy, free speech, and equality. We give thanks. For those who fought against slavery, tyranny, and oppressions of every kind. We give thanks. We give thanks for those who penned the Testaments of Liberty, their speeches and their sermons, their books and declarations, which set forth the equal rights of all human beings and we give thanks for those who claim those rights. We give thanks. In particular, we give thanks today for the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, composed in the aftermath of war, informed by the experience of monstrous inhumanity, its words encompass the hopes of humankind. We give thanks. But we cannot leave it there. As we celebrate those rights, let us also accept our responsibilities, our responsibility to enshrine them in our hearts and to make them real in our lives, our responsibility to respect them in all our dealings with others, our responsibility as citizens to see that our own countries abide by them, our responsibility to establish them in the many places where they are ignored, violated, or suppressed and our responsibility to live truly as members of the human family. And then the congregation says, As we give thanks, so we accept these responsibilities. Let it be so. Anyhow, I share these as just the first few paragraphs of this sort of prayer of thanksgiving, and I know it's not directly tied in or related to Buddhism per se, but, you know, particularly in what now many are touting as kind of the, the fourth branch of Buddhism uh, beyond, uh, you know, Theravada and Mahayana and Vajrayana, namely a branch of Buddhism that advocates for social action. I think these kinds of sentiments are certainly apropos to what many Buddhists feel that we should embrace as Buddhists and, frankly, that we should embrace within all religious traditions as they manifest themselves in their most ideal form. Namo Mirabutsu, Namo Mirabutsu, Namo Mirabutsu.